Street Rod Headquarters, your single source street rod provider, proudly presents JF Customs TV. In an automotive world full of people who want to be heroes, there's a young Canadian team that has impacted the industry at a whole new level. We are JF Customs. You're watching JF Customs TV. My face. Enough. Or else I'm going to turn it on you. Wheaties Fuel Cam. That's what this camera was made for. Customs. Woo. Where's my sunglasses? That's <laughs> All right, kids, this is me. I'm uh, wearing all the stuff because my camera guy can't get led into the country. We're just going to go have a look. We're starting to set up the car. See what you think about this. It's uh, Sunday morning. We're heading to the auction site. The car's not quite displayed yet. We have to get the car jacked up on stanchions, put some mirrors underneath it. Kristen's going to see about spotlights. We get to drive a cool old truck to get there. Uh, we were fortunate enough to go to a pretty posh party last night, and it made me realize that there are a lot of people with a lot of money in the world. So I'm feeling a little bit better about that this morning. We'll see how the day progresses. I'm trying to think about the task at hand rather than think about how we're going to do in the end. We just found out that the weather is going to be a little bit rainy. So what does that bring to the table? Well, it's two schools of thought. Our car is placed inside right where the bitters area is. So it might mean that if it's raining a lot, a lot of the bitters don't take, take the time to go out and look at all the cars outside. You would think that's a big plus. The problem with the rain is we do believe that there's a chance there's going to be less bidders. We'll let those cards play out too. It's funny how much of a gamble this is. It's just, uh, we talked about it last night. It's just speculation. So what are we speculating on? Well, we're speculating on the economy. We're speculating on somebody liking the car. We're speculating on the timing being right for somebody to like the car. We're speculating on the booze to work so that somebody's emotional about buying the car. We're speculating on a lot of stuff. We know the car's pretty. That's about it. sad to say. Now you're going to make me cry. <laughs> I'm going to cry enough over here. I don't need to right now. I'm walking through a big tunnel. <laughs> oh, shut that off. The world 
greatest collector car events return to speed. Barrett Jackson. Don't miss your only chance to see these treasures cross the block live. The powerful 63 Shelby Cobra Roadster and a one-of-a-kind Chrysler Custom Two-Door Wagon. Barrett Jackson Scottsdale. This episode is sponsored by Lorco, Flowmaster, Canadian Hot Rod Magazine, A and W, Curtis Speed Wheels. Stay tuned for more stuff from JF Customs TV. of the Astra at RM is that it was bid up to $120,000, dollars 150 was reserved, we didn't need reserve, didn't sell the car yet. It looks like we may be able to sell the car in the parking lot. We feel that maybe there wasn't enough information given to the purchasing public about the car and they didn't understand what they were actually looking at. I don't know. Is it too late to add something to what he's saying? There's 25 magazines that come with it that featured it in the 50s. Well, it's a documented car. There's 25 magazines that come with it. Come on, is this guy for real? Still $120,000 is a lot of money. Let's see how that goes. For this week hope you enjoyed next episode is going to be about the sale of the yellow car in scottsdale arizona at the barrett jackson auction see you guys next week